Hi and welcome to this quick blender tip where I show you how to render solid wireframes similar to what you see on your screen now. Alright, so let's jump into blender and start. Here's the default scene. I'm just going to delete the cube and add a monkey so we could better see our wireframes. In the side view I'm going to rotate the monkey move it along the z-axis right above that green line. In the camera mode view I'm going to rotate the monkey smooth it out and add a subdivision modifier to mall display All right, and we're ready for materials add a new one and name it solid now I'm going to take the uh, intensity down to 2.2 hardness to 15 and I'm going to use this funk shader since it gives uh, smoother results so we're done with the solid material. Uh, we could add a new one and name it wire. I'll make sure you click the wire tab option and bring the specular down all the way to zero. For the diffuse color, uh, it's pretty much your choice. I'm going to go with the black. Uh, keeping in mind I don't want to go all the way to the bottom. Enable transparency and bring the alpha down to 0.5. Somewhere around that, just play around with it. Um, whatever works, uh, wherever you think looks better. Uh, make sure the Z, uh, uh, Z offset is greater than zero. Around 0 0.04 usually works fine. All right. Now, if you render this, the wireframe is not going to show up. Um, we have to rearrange the solid in the wire. So put the wire on the top the solid on the bottom. Now the wire right now um, is affecting the whole mesh so um, we're going to take it, um, make sure everything's selected, if not just uh, hit A um, and then I click assign, make sure the solid one is selected. All right. And right now if you render it, uh, the wireframe shows up. And that's, and that's it. I'm just going to add a uh, Plane just to and a drop backdrop, and I'm going to adjust the lighting. Scale this up to about 0.8. Side view. Grab these two vertices. Extrude about like that. And I did not select this one. I thought I did. Extrude again. There we go. Add a loop cut. Just like that, and add a subdivision modifier, watch all display, and smooth it out. Also, going to scale it along the x axis. Going back into camera mode, you can see the background is showing, so rotate that by uh, the z axis, just like that. And I'm actually going to apply the solid material to this um, ground plane as well, the backdrop. Now for the lights. Select this uh, lamp right here. I'm going to set the energy, actually put this, um, make this an area lamp first. Uh, make the energy is 0.5. Bring the distance down to 5 as well and now I'm going to go to the top view. Duplicate that lamp. Uh, rotate about here. And I'm going to put, uh, put the samples up to two. In the front view, I take the first lamp that we made, or that was there rather, uh, bring it down here, rotate it, and disable the shadows on it. Alright, and now lighting is set up now. Now, for the last thing, I'm just going to go enable ambient occlusion and environment lighting. It's in the world tab. Factor of 0.6 on both. And a multiply blend mode on the ambient occlusion. And if we render it now, uh, you can see the final result. So I uh, hope you guys learned something from this, especially how to do wireframe renders. You could use this in your uh, to showcase your modeling and uh, in your next projects. Uh, make a better portfolio. Uh, thank you for watching.